In this video, I'm going to solve a few questions on section 1.4 and also 1.5 for the week 1 homework assignments. In this question, this is one problem uh, number 9 on section 1.4. In studying planetary motion, the expression G, M, M and M are all together to the minus 1 and then R to the minus 2 power arises. Now they ask you to simplify this expression. We can use the exponential rule to try to simplify the expression. So what we can do now is the first the first term we keep we keep the first term as normal g small m and then the big one. For the second term we see that there is the negative exponent. So in order to change this to the positive exponent we are going to bring it down and we make it into the positive exponent and then after we bring it down we just put number one here this is the negative exponent rule and then also this one too in order to change this one to positive two we bring it down we flip it upside down and then we put the one up here well now you can combine them together this one stay on the top, so I can just put this in on the top. G small m and m. The m and r to the first power is the same thing as m and r. So I can keep that at the bottom. And then this one is r square. They are at the bottom, so they multiply together in the bottom here. Now, you can see that the small m and small m, they cancel out. Right, so all I have now is I, w I have what? I have the big G, the big M on the top. This is the R to the first power. They have the same base R. So you keep the base R. You add the exponent. 1 plus 2 give me 3. And that is your final answer. After you simplify it. The next question is question number 10 on the section 1.4 as well. In designing a cam for a fire engine uh, pump, the expression pi r over 2 all together to the third power multiply 4 over 3 pi r square is used. Simplify this expression. Alright, simplify that. Okay, uh, this pi is just the, the number pi. And the number pi is, is equal to around 3.14 and so on but we can simplify that and try to cancel that together here well we can do uh, step by step the first term we have pi so I keep pi nothing we can do yet now for the second term number 3 here you can bring it on the top you can also make the distribution to the bottom so that will become r to the third power and then number two also to the third power. And lastly, I have the last term. I rewrite it, three pi r square. Now let's do a step by step. We can see that um, we can simplify this further. Two to the third power, two to the third power equal two times two times two. This is equal eight. So I can rewrite this one more step here. This is number 8 down here, 4 over 3 pi r square. Now let's do some cancellation in this step. We see that on the top there's pi and at the bottom there's pi so they can cancel out. We see that this is r3, right? This is r3, this is r2. So when you do the subtractions, when you do the division of the two um, terms with the same base, then you can keep the r and then the same base and then we subtract the exponent right so now we took care of this these two term we got that okay a and 4 they have the same common factor of 4 so i can divide on the top by 4 and divide the bottom by 4 a divided by 4 give me 2 
So at the bottom, I still have two left here, and then number three over here. Okay, three minus two is one. So R to the first power, number one, I don't have to write because normally for one we don't write. And then three times two, that is six. Okay, R over six is the final answer after you simplify this complicated expression. And then this is question number 11 from section 1.4. A particular screen measures 14.4 inches across its diagonal. Convert this to centimeter. So we have 14, we have 14.4 inches. And you want to convert it to centimeter. Okay. So inches, you want at the end, you want that to be centimeter. So how do I make the inches to be go, uh, go away and have only centimeter here? Well, we can multiply with the conversion factor. So we do a multiplication. Because I don't want the inches to stay on the left side here. I want centimeter left only. So I, ha I, I need to have inches down here and then centimeter up here because now the inches they cancel out and leaving me only centimeter which is what I want at the end so now we need to find conversion factor uh, for inches and centimeters so my MATLAB uh, has the option to click on the icon to view the various conversion factor you want something between centimeter and inches so let's go to my MATLAB here, you know, click here and you see that we are looking for inches and centimeter which is the first one 1 inch equal 2.54 centimeter okay that's what we want 1 inch equal 2.54 centimeter and now all you do now is you just gonna multiply these two numbers together if you multiply 14.4 times 2.54 using your uh, scientific calculator you should end up with 36.576 and they ask you do not round until the final answer then round to one decimal place as needed so they want you to round to only the the one decimal place which is we stop at the the the, the first uh, location here and because the one after that is number 7 which is bigger than 5 so you want to add one more to number 5 so that's gonna be 36.6 .6 centimeter now let's just enter this one here and then check the answer alright the next question is one point this is section um, 1.5 and section 1.5 and this is question number 8 okay let's go over this question a Google is defined as one followed by a hundred zeros part A write this number in scientific notation okay so recall that scientific notation has the form of 1.0 I mean, you can just use a general uh, uh, format. So a time ten to the power of something. Okay, a time ten to the power of something is the scientific notation, and we know that a is a value between one and ten. So a could be anything bigger than or equal to 1 but then less than 10 and B is the integer okay so we know that one one Google is defined as one followed by a hundred zero so that means you want one and then after number one we have a hundred of zero so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
you keep going that until you get a hundred zero a hundred zero so now they want because this is too long to write so they want you to write one Google's uh, using the scientific no notations so we know that to write that using a scientific notation you need to stack from all the way from the bottom right this is one and, and a hundred zero and and then it ends here that's mean there's a decimal place here that there's a decimal point and then that's just zero after that now you need to move all the decimal uh, the points all the way to here and then you put it here and you see that that become 1.0 1 1.0 1 .0. and 1.0 is between 1 and 10 so that's what we want because there are 100 zero so you move 100 time to the left to make it smaller and if you make it smaller you want to multiply to 10 to 100 you make this exponent to be positive because you make this number to be smaller so you want to make it larger again to compensate with what you just perform okay so because you move a hundred times to the left this become 1.0 times 10 times 10 to the hundred power and that is the answer for the first part the second part is ask you what is one Google Plex okay and a Google Plex is defined as 10 to the Google power so look back at the definition you know that one Google Plex so one Google Plex one Google Plex is equal to what is defined as 10 is defined as 10 to the Google power so 10 to the Google power and we we saw that the Google one Google is equal to what is equal to 1 10 to 100 right and 1 here means it's just 1 and 1 times 10 to 100 it's just 10 to the 100 so you have 10 and then 2 10 to 100 that way okay because 10 to Google and Google is 10 to 100 multiply by 1 is just the same thing so 10 to 10 of 100 but they ask you to use the scientific no notation so make sure that you can just input another extra like 1.0 times 10 to 10 to 100 because 1.0 times this thing is equal to the same thing as we have on the left side here and that is your answer at the scientific notation so 1.0 is always between 1 and 10 and then this is 10 to the power of something which is 10 to the 10 of 100